This is how the story went. I met someone by accident. Blew me away. Blew me away. And it was in the darkest of my days. And it took my sorrow and it took my pain. Buried them away. Buried them away. Oh, great. I wish I could lay down beside you when the day is done and wake up to your face again the morning sun. But I Call it sick. Why? Is there something wrong with me? No. Dropped you off at the train station Put a kiss on top of your head Watched you away Watched you away Then I went on home to my sky Pretty put the neon lights I'm waiting, baby Welcome. This is nice. Right? <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's like a little garden of Eden. I can't believe I'm leaving it, to be honest. Right, now, I hope you're ready for one of the greatest breakfasts of your life. You are going to be so glad you took today off. Mwah. Guess what? Dazza just text. They've only gone and lined up some party for me, right, straight off the plane. Still as you mean to go on. Yep. Asleep on a Bangkok dance floor. Bonnie. Yeah? I'm gonna go. What? You've got a lot to do. I don't want to get in your way. No, 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 no. You can't go. Look, I have got it all planned, right? Breakfast al fresco, <laughs> right? My well, vaccinations are at 11, and I'll pack. Hopefully my passport turns up, and then we have got the whole afternoon to play. Your passport? Yeah, I definitely had it yesterday. It's totally fine. <laughs> Where are you going for your vaccinations? Doctors, same as before. Look, please... Stay. Since when did you have gooseberry jam? Ah, right. Now, it was a while ago, and I think we were pretty wrecked at the time, but you said that you liked that one when you were little. I imagined it. <laughs> no. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Hiya, have you got any post-its? Yeah, sure, help yourself. How come you're all dolled up? I've got a course this morning. You OK? Is it Jimmy? Ugh. Not that obvious. Hey, no, come on. What's wrong? <sighs> He's been really off with me and he won't talk about it. OK. It's... It's like he just doesn't take me seriously. Why? Because of how you look? What do you mean? I didn't mean any, anything. Freya. I, I guess the sad fact is that men treat women first and foremost based on how they look. It's a pink thing, isn't it? Well, there are theories that suggest women wearing pink reinforce a prepubescent sexual. Okay, um, what other women does Jimmy respect? His ex. And what does she do? She's a policewoman, so not much pink. Yeah. Maybe I need to get new clothes. I, only if that's what you want. Have you got anything? <laughs> my stuff would hang off you. If you really want to, then my old housemate left some clothes behind. Yeah. You know what, Jimmy's not that superficial. Thank you, though. OK. How thick? Rabies is definitely the biggest needle in the bag. Yeah, I'm not worried. OK, if I scream, right, I'll buy you lunch. You'll buy me lunch already. <laughs> You're so cheap. I mean when I get back next year. You won't even remember my name. Barney Hamilton? Yeah? You can go through. I'll be right back. Don't worry about me. Hi. Sorry, I'm not registered here, but I really need to see a doctor. 
I hope it's good news. How many uh, weeks is it, am I? Whatever. Well, based on the date of your last period, eight. Eight. Would you like me to work out a due date for no. you? Uh, sorry, go on. Around the 17th of February. <sighs> Fiji. Now then, your blood pressure is high and you've got a family history, so I it's really important. my pill once. How can it be so easy to get pregnant? It's so unfair. Uh, we met ten weeks ago. He's five years younger than me. He's lovely. He's really lovely, but he's a boy on heat. He's off around the world for a year tonight. And I just got a job I really love, so this is great news. OK, so what are my options if I decide I don't want to go through with it? Well, you still qualify for the medical termination. Just. Which is? Two sets of pills, mifepristone and misoprostol, taken at a clinic. Anything from six hours to three days apart, no overnight stay needed. Or there's the surgical termination. You must see a lot of pregnancies. Yes. I'd be doing the right thing, wouldn't I? That's not a question that I can answer. But what do you think, off the record? You would need to speak to a counsellor about that. I tell Barney I'll help him today. I'll give you the helpline number. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Sorry, but I could really do with talking this through. Well, as uh, I said, you... Face to face, please. I'm not going to have a baby on my own, so either I tell him today or I might as well end it today. What do you think? I think you're 27 and he's 22. He's a stranger and you don't trust him and he's about to sleep his way around the world. I think you should use your brain. Checking up on me? Yeah? Not a whimper. My hero. <laughs> Still get your lunch when we get back. Barney Hamilton. Hey. Dr. Granger. When are you off? Uh, I'm going tonight. All right for some? Yeah, it should be good. Have a great trip. Right. And see you sometime. Yeah, see you soon. She just saw Dr. Carmichael. Maybe that is why she's looking so blunt. Hi, you're through to Gina. Please leave a message after the beep. You okay? Fine. Hey, uh... Your patient just now. What about her? Well, her boyfriend's a patient of mine, Barney. Oh, small world. Well, Gina has just found out that she's pregnant. That's, that's a tough one for you to get today. <laughs> How dare she? Went okay, though? Fantastic. The worst news of her life. As long as you're all right. What's his last name? Barney. Why? Because, Daniel, I want to go and speak to her and she's with him today and I can't get into the appointments page. Why do you want to? <sighs> because I want to give her some advice. That you couldn't give her when she was here? <sighs> Daniel, do not patronise me today. No, I'm just interested why you want to get involved. Barney what? Don't, sorry. Barney what? Not today. Not with this. Barney Hamilton. And then I thought, nah, she's always hated mornings. But then I thought, no, but she, uh, yeah, she says she likes them when she's with me, so. <laughs> OK, I'm bored of this now. Yeah, you're right. Works fine. Barney. <laughs> I don't think we should do this. I mean, I don't think we should talk at all when you're away. What? And let's just stick to what we said at the start, you know, once you get on the plane, that's that. Who suddenly bought this on? Aren't you worried about your passport? Eh? No, I've pff, got ages yet. When did you have it last? Uh, yesterday. When you came back from the embassy? Yeah, it was in that jacket. Well, you wore that one last night. Um, maybe you left it by the canal. Oh, we don't think of. Oh, go and have a look. Okay. Thanks. Come in. 
Hey, how's your course? Yeah, it's fine. So I'm just going to finish this report. You've got five minutes for me, haven't you? Yeah, sure. Just been reading an article about what's happening in the Middle East. Bit of a mess out there, isn't it? What? What do you think's going to happen? Jerry, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But you seem a bit... Serious? Weird. Weird? I mean, a lovely, lovely way. Um, see you for lunch? Yeah. Um, actually, no. Um, I'm gonna meet Freya. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking for my, um, daughter's Sit down. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so you were saying you, you know Gina from work? Yeah, sort of. Oh. Uh, Zara? Yeah. Yeah. I like that name. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> do, uh, do you want a, a, a tea or a coffee? I think we've got enough milk. No, thanks. Well, I, I think I'll make myself one. Yeah. I've travelled each and every highway And what's more, much more than this I did it my way Excited? Yeah, yeah, I still can't really believe I'm going to be honest. Bangkok first, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I've had a good time the last few weeks though with Gina. Really good time. Just fun though, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was the plan, that was our rule. But she's just such a laugh, you know, I just. Well, she's got to me, what can I say? Messed up. Oh. I'm sure you'll cope. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be an amazing year. Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. What's going on? I haven't said anything. I told him I was a friend. That's a lie. I wanted to help. You already helped. Look, what I said before was wrong. It was too black and white. What I should have said was... You don't know if this is your last chance. You don't know if you are ever going to get pregnant again. You don't know how much time you've got. Look, the timing's wrong. The man's wrong. Everything's wrong. I needed to hear it and you said it. Thank you. If it's meant to be, we'll get back together next year. If it's meant to be... Yeah. Do you think you can just choose the time that suits you and your body will just go along with it? Well, breaking news, it doesn't work like that. Right. Have the baby. Have the baby now, rather than face the pain of... I've never having one. Well, that was intense. How close are you two? So sorry. Because I don't... I really don't want to cause any aggro, but she was definitely coming on to me. I mean, <laughs> not that she isn't pretty fit, especially considering how old she is, but... You are a genius. Was it by the canal? Such a spanner. How am I going to get round the world without you? I'm sure you'll be fine. Come with me. No. Go on. No. OK, Gina, I was just kidding. Well, it's not funny anymore. I really need to get out of here. Gina, I didn't mean that about your friend. I'm sorry. Look, I lied, all right? I stole your passport. I wasn't by the canal, I had it all the time. No, you didn't. 
I wanted you to stay. I couldn't bear the thought of you leaving me. You see, I already am. I'm, a, I'm one of those girls. I'm a psycho. So, um, let's say goodbye now and you get on that plane and you forget all about me. Please. Gina. Gina! You went to see Gina, didn't you? Did she appreciate the advice? Not really. I suppose she's got a lot on her mind, too. How was she about her blood pressure? What? Her blood pressure. I read her notes. Will you stop questioning my ability to do my job? I wasn't. I'm just interested in how she reacted. She started going on about how easy it was to get pregnant. I got distracted. OK, I'm going to call her. I'll do it. No! You stay out of this now, OK? Well, it's like I say, even if they do go on to get pregnancy hypertension, most women still have a normal birth without a child. So why are you calling me? Well, there are guidelines to follow. What, like a uh, no alcohol, no raw fish? Uh, it's more about reducing stress levels. <laughs> well, my job is stressful, so there we go, there's a problem. Could you take some time off? My boss would love that. OK, I'll tell you what, why don't you come in and we can talk it through? Look, Doctor... Um... Granger. I need you to help me with something. OK. I'm not going to go through with this. I need you to recommend me a clinic. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, of course. OK. Yeah. It's your size, near enough. And... Hair straighteners. Yeah, Christmas present. Never used, needless to say. Come on, then. Are you sure? Yep. Time to say goodbye to Princess Bubblegum. Wow. Well, <laughs> you say that, but, um... They don't do gooseberry jam. <laughs> I uh, wanted to say sorry. Yeah, me too. You got nothing to be sorry about? No, I do. Uh, you wanted me to stay that much. Look, Gina, I didn't realise. That's amazing. I didn't hide your passport, Barney. I found it by the canal, and that's the truth. But at that moment, I thought if you hated me, it would make it easier to say goodbye. Easier for who? For me. Well, so you did want me to stay. Look, Gina, when you gave me my passport, right, and I realised that I was free to go, I... I felt more trapped than I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> you are going to have a great time. You are going to have the time of your life. Gina. Well, you are. You and me, I... It's blown me away. OK, completely. Entirely. Me too. Uh... Really? Look. It's just been bad timing. Really bad. To bad timing. <laughs> well, if it's meant to be, then. <laughs> Just promise me, all right? Promise me that if you're single when I get back, which is unlikely, <laughs> and I am too, which is a given, uh, 
we can... We'll talk about it. Say, I'm gonna tweet you. Make him funny. say to her. Sorry. I want to know what you told her and I want to know what she said to you. She's my patient, Daniel. Patient or just a younger version of yourself? What's happening to me? Here's what's happening. You've lost something. We've lost something. No, we didn't. A, a, a few cells didn't take. That's all. No one's died. It's still gonna hurt. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. It's just something that didn't happen. Move on. Sorry. What did my patient say? Hi. Ah, there you are. What do you think? It's supposed to make you take me seriously. <laughs> it's seriously funny, I'll give you that. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> you don't have to dress up, we're fine as we are. No, Jimmy. We're not. He told you. What time's your appointment? I want to apologise. Have you even heard of patient confidentiality? It's no excuse, but I've had a lot on my mind. Whereas uh, I've had a sort of nothing day. I think I've been mixing you up with me. <laughs> no offence, but uh, you're not 27. I have failed to be objective. I don't know whether you should keep this baby, but I know that you need more time before you make possibly the biggest decision of your whole life. Barney likes you a lot. I like him a lot. Which is why I had no right to stop him from getting on that plane. I couldn't take away his adventure. <laughs> But surely he has a right to know that you're here doing this. I'm doing this for Barney. Really? Is this more about his timing or yours? Call him. Thank you. Hey, babe, I'm just about to get on. Can I call you back? Barney. Yeah? Hello? Gina. He got on the plane. What? He couldn't take it in. I don't blame him. But did you tell him where you were? I couldn't. But have you... I'm sorry, Chris. 
I'm gonna give myself some time to... Sorry, Dr. Carmichael, um, Barney's just arrived. I'm gonna go now. Great. I hoped you'd be here. I changed my flight to a week's time. I'm coming round to open the blinds. You can't hide here any longer. My God, you need to rinse those puffy I just want to patch things over with Jerry. Oh, what things? Ah, oh, nothing. Just a few bumps. Mrs. Hollands! It's me! Minford! My name is Mrs. Tenby. And? Welcome to Brunswick Street. You've done all this for me. You are the best mother in the world. Jerry. I'm not interested anymore. 